Our whole universe was in a hot, dense state that nearly 14 billion years ago expansion started way back. You knew this was coming. Did the James Webb telescope set out to prove the Big Bang, but instead prove that the Big Bang didn't happen? Maybe. Let's take a look at the data. On Christmas Day of last year, the James Webb telescope set off on its mission. From a tropical rainforest to the edge of time itself, James Webb begins a voyage back to the birth of the universe. In order to understand why they think the James Webb telescope is actually a time machine, you have to understand the prevailing thought in cosmology and astrophysics, which is that they believe that the further away an object is, the further back in time you were looking. The easiest example of this is to think of the sun, which they say is eight light minutes away, meaning that the light that left the sun left eight minutes ago and traveling at the speed of light, that's how long it took to get to the earth. So 93 million miles away equals eight minutes in light time. Is this true? Maybe. But a funny nuance is that we've never been able to test the one-way speed of light. And this is an important point because they think when you're seeing 14 billion light years away, however many miles that is 14 billion times 365 times 93 million miles times 24 times you're actually now seeing the light that left that place 14 billion years ago so at the beginning of the big bang what would the universe have looked like you would have seen whatever formation was happening to create planets and stars and galaxies so when they looked through their magic telescope back in time this is what they expected to see but a funny thing happened on the way to the edge of the universe at almost 14 billion years back into the past the galaxies look exactly Exactly like they do around us, like they do everywhere else in the universe. Fully formed, symmetrical, complete, mature galaxies. And this is totally destroying the astrophysical cosmological paradigm. Because what this data is showing is that either they were entirely wrong about when the universe began to be, or how galaxies form, or when galaxies formed. And it's even possible that this Einsteinian idea that the further out we look, the further back in time we're looking, is wrong. So what do you think the science complex is doing with this new information? So, so what you have are journalists trying to make clickbait. They say, oh, Big Bang is in trouble. So I just go back to the drawing. But Big Bang is not in trouble. I'm just saying, it's not in trouble. What they're doing is controlling the narrative about the data and then gaslighting anybody who questions them, which actually makes sense because they have a lot riding on this Big Bang Theory. Think about it. For the first time in history, they had a way to explain how the universe began to be without any kind of causative force. Just a random explosion that created everything, including all of the order that we see today. And it was accepted science, peer-reviewed. Only problem is it might be entirely wrong. Oh, pay no attention to that man behind the curtain. There you go, wow, that is good. Take that, Big, big Bang deniers, take that.